elders for you to lean on. Mheshimiwa Medho, ukipata nafasi, ningetaka uende kwa Biblia Ecclesiastes the entire book because I know you can read it within a very short time. And especially chapter 4. And you'll see that Muse is basically in a better place than all of us. I was here and I told you, let me just tell you because Najua Kushika Maneno kwa Sahizi ni gumu. Because I've also been there before. Mwesimu arise when we were doing campaigns. Mimi kuna maneno nilifanya. Sijui kama ni mzuri ama ni baya. Mimi ni kaeda kanisa. Sazigine wakati ya campaign mwesimu wa president. Tunaenda kanisa kama tano on one Sunday. Na tugete ni mutuwa. Herele mwene tuka guo. Herele tura edha kura. So siku moja mimi ni kaeda kanisa ya ACK yuko kwetu. Muranga town. Ya town ina economy ni services. So I went to the, to the morning service. Na yuri alihubiri ya kahubiri vizuri sana. Akasema, let's go to Luke chapter Luke eh, eh, 12, 24. Na akasema, kama the ravens hakuna inaenda kwa shamba. Na mugu wanazijalia. Akatuliza na sisi binadamu. When yame tuuba kwa mfano yake, we must be very close to his, to his heart. Na kwa sababu nilikuwa na tafuta kura, nikaona hiyo ni my word, lakini nikaona ananiabia ni wache kuore too much, mugu watanjalia hapo bere. Na vile hiyo wadi ni niguza, ile kanisa nilikuwa na eda next, nikajua ni taeda na hii Bible verse. <laughs> lakini sana sana siku hubiri, wacha ni tubu, nilikuwa na eda na hiyo, diyo wa kristo waona na jua Bible, Wajua siwezi ponyoka na CDF. <laughs> so I went to my second third service. Na wakati nipewa na fasi ni kasema, Christians, let's go to Luke chapter 12. Luke 24, 12. Ama 12, 24. Nitaangalia nita vizuri hapa nikikachini. <laughs> na iyo siku makofi ilipigwa, nikajua kura imepatikana. <laughs> Lakini nataka mwesimua medhu, you take it note on a light note. La kwamba, Mugu anatupenda alituba kwa mfano yake. We must be very precious to him. I know he'll give you peace of mind, he'll console you and he'll he's going to uh, he'll continue strengthening you. Nikienda kumaliza. Mheshimiwa president, mimi hata kama tunaaga mzee, mzee was very hard working. Allow me to say ya kwamba the way mzee was hard working, the way Medo is very hard working. Mheshimiwa president you have taught us to be hardworking. Juzi ni meona katika takuimu zimetolewa that the GDP of Kenya in the third quarter of 2023 grew by 5.9%. A growth that is higher than even China. In fact, the growth of the Kenyan GDP is now 27th fastest growing economy in the world. Mweshimua President, I also saw that the inflation in Kenya is actually now at 6.6 percent which is the lowest in 20 months mweshimua president sazigine tunaweza kusukuma sana kama wananchi so that you do even more but we appreciate the much you are doing because for sure now what we are seeking is to continue with that growth but even much more to spread it so that even kenyans can feel the gdp in their pockets and i know that is what you are doing